the first SCP is the Perfect Porcelain Doll, aka SCP-706. And hello, SCP-408 and Noriakia. Am I saying your name correctly? I always question myself if I'm saying your name correctly. It's nice seeing you too. Anyways, let's get into this. Item SCP 706. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures SCP 706 is to be housed in a humanoid containment cell at humanoid containment site 06 3, which has been modified with padded walls and minimum sharp edges. SCP-706 is, is to be provided with 1.2 kilograms of, of kaolin and ceramic glaze daily in addition to its regular diet. SCP-706 is currently contained under suicide watch procedures and is to be restrained at all times except when undergoing testing. SCP-706 is to be given daily therapy sessions until further notice. Description. 706 is an adolescent European-American female identified as redacted 12 years of age, according to local records at the time of initial containment. Records, records also indicate that 706 has been homeschooled throughout its life and that neighbors rarely saw 706 outdoors. SCP-706 is... Physiologically normal with the exception of an abnormally high resting body temperature of approximately 38.5 uh, degrees Celsius. And has, and has entire epidermis is composed of porcelain, with the exception of small areas around its joints. This layer is extremely fragile due to its thickness and can crack or break when subjected to impacts or even with excessive movement. A process that is apparently extremely painful. Someone who is capable of regenerating its skin layer at, at a rate consistent with normal skin growth when provided with and allowed to consume appropriate raw materials. Unfinished materials such as kaolin are acceptable and preferred. Someone who has no particular resistance to tissue damage resulting from ingestion or of hardened porcelain. Unless otherwise otherwise directed, someone who will composely maintain its appearance typically involving looking at itself in mirrors and using any available makeup to paint or apply, remove, or adjust its features. 706 will become distressed and uncooperative if not provided appropriate materials with which to maintain its materials or if denied the ability to inspect its own appearance. 706 was recovered from Redacted, Texas following a police report following, involving a violent domestic dispute at a suburban residence. 706 was discovered in a back room of the residence surrounded by a large pile of destroyed remains from several dozen porcelain dolls and also sets of fine china dinnerware, with most of the porcelain mass having been consumed. Class A amnestics were administered to responding law enforcement personnel and a cover story given to local media. Addendum 706-1 Recording transcript. The following audio recording was taken from a damaged digital handcorder found within the redacted residence. Oh. Hi, Busta. You be good, okay, Busta? Irrelevant content redact redacted for brevity. Mrs. Mrs. Redacted. Okay, sweetie. One more time, okay? Summon sound for soon to be a door. Mr. Redacted. Slurred. I have enough in the goddamn had a while. What do you told to shut the fuck up? Daddy? Honey? You don't need no fucking press this shit. And your fucking awful music. Honey, you're drunk. Drunk. Daddy, please stop. I don't take goddamn girly bullshit. You go to fucking hell. Honey, please. The camera is knocked over as the sound of a struggle ensue. No further video is recorded. 
Well, what do you want? You know, I can't have sounds of an altercation. Mommy, Daddy, please. Oh, is it, is it that tall? Your father's got to do it. Is that it? Please, please stop. You get to give me a fucking son, and you're going to pull a fucking gun on me, is that it? Please, just go away. I'll do it. Pull the fucking trigger. Sounds of struggling. Two gunshots are heard. 706. Screaming in the cipher ripple. Single gunshot. 706. More screaming, sobbing. End of recording. Denim 706-2. Interview transcript. Note, this interview was taken shortly after initial containment and prior to the con current containment procedures. Interviewer, Dr. Redacted. Subject, SCP-706. Date, Redacted. Inter note, interview conducted within 706's containment cell. 706 is seated at, at a table, brushing its hair while examining itself in a vanity mirror. Transcript, Dr. Redacted. Do you have any idea how this happened? 706. Because I wanted to be a doll. Why is that? My mom had dolls. Lots of dolls. Oh, dolls. Tell me about them. She kept them in a glass case. She showed me them when, when I was little. Tell me how much they meant to her. How much she loved them. But you wouldn't want to be locked in a glass case, would you? Why did you want to be a doll? Because she loved them. Because mommy loved them. And daddy loved her. And if I could be like a doll, then she would love me too. Dolls don't cry. They don't need to be fed or cleaned after or taken care of. They just sit beautiful and perfect. If I was perfect and beautiful, then everything would be okay. If I were a doll then... They wouldn't have to fight anymore, and we could be a normal family, and we would be happy. I just want to go home. Mommy, please just let me go home. Interview terminated. Denim 706-3. Research note. 706 has been becoming increasingly detached and unresponsive to personnel since initial containment. She has also taken to in intentionally breaking off pieces of her skin in order to remove undesired features, a practice that is beginning to seriously threaten her health. A revision to, to containment procedures to reflect the self-destructive behavior has been filed with site administration and is currently under review. Dr. Redacted. Oh, God. They're gonna make the- they're gonna make this whole abusive situation even worse in the content farm video, aren't they? Like they did with the other one. Oh no. <sighs> Alright. Let's go over to the to the rubric. Alright, so clickbait thumbnail. Let's see. Seven oh six. I have a bunch of images saved, so I have to look at them. That's 5252. Which I think we already did, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see. 1702. It should be this one. Yep, 706. Here we go. Oh, my God. They fucking added a Poppy Playtime character. I'm Dr. Kondraki. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. They they added unnecessary violence and a character that's not even a CP character to their thumbnail. Why? I lose so much mentality and sanity when doing these type of streams. 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> well, this is definitely a four. Because four is the worst. So. <laughs> four. <laughs> As you can see, most of the thumbnails are four. <laughs> Which is not good. <laughs> All right. Did they at least... Alright, let's make sure they actually got the correct license. Because they... They fucked up once. They did it again! They did it again! If you go here... Alienia and Neko Chris. I don't know who Neko Chris is here. Because... They're not in the... Oh wait, that's the wrong one. My bad. They're not in the license. Look. There's no Neko Chris. I don't know why Huggy Wuggy's there. It was probably when Poppy Playtime was popular. So they messed up the content Creative Commons license as well. Again. <laughs> Who the fuck is Nico Chris? Alright. Alright. Is everyone ready? Okay, I'm gonna see if I can... I can't... I can't get rid of this down here. <laughs> just, 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 uh, uh, hold on. Give me a moment. There we go. <laughs> God damn it, YouTube. <laughs> you click me thumbnails. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Everyone ready to get some brain rot? Who's ready for some brain rot? Hey, what happened? I can't get disconnected. Ready to have my brain rot. Oh, hey, bookworm. <laughs> Alright. In three, two, one. No quick movements. He's in here. Somewhere. The agents move slowly through the warehouse. Flashlights scanning the ceilings and dark corners. What exactly is it we're looking for, sir? Keep quiet. We'll know it when we see it. Jen turned a corner of boxes. Behind them were a few mannequins. They were posed in odd positions and angles. This isn't where they were reason, found. He couldn't fathom. Then he saw it. All agents converge on me. Now. Behind the oddly posed mannequins stood another. Something was off with this one, though. He couldn't quite put his finger on it. But he knew this was what they were looking for. What is it, Agent Chen? Chen nodded in the direction of the mannequin in the back, without taking his eyes off it. That one. As the words left his mouth, the mannequin's eyes darted towards him. In one swift movement, Chen raised his gun and fired around. The mannequin's arm shattered as it let out a scream. What the fuck? Stop, please! Don't shoot! Chen lowered his weapon. It wasn't a mannequin at all. It was made out of... Can I just say something real quick? Is this supposed to be a little child? Because they're supposed to be a little porcelain doll. Not an adult. So they're sexualizing a child. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> you can see how bad this is. 
Because let's, let's go back. Let's go back real quick. Yeah, because you can see here, they're, they're like being little... They're like a, a mother and a cute little daughter and everything. And they're, at, and they're talking like a little child. It's back from yesterday. Okay, can, Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, 12 years of age. Porcelain. As if, yeah. And it was alive. <laughs> Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-706. Why is there Perfect captions? porcelain doll. Don't Fuck forget off. to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Come join my Discord, too. She had been living on the streets since a young child. Her perfect Okay, that's what they're supposed to look like. And why is Huggy Wuggy there? clothing and makeup. To those not so observant, she had a doll-like appearance that could have been passed off as convincing cosplay. They had received reports from clothing why? stores no, about no, items no, going why? missing. What was curious is that all of the items stolen, a mannequin why is Huggy Wuggy in every scene? As well. Has she spoken to anyone yet? Nope, she hasn't said a word so far. Just sits there all day long, doing her makeup, adjusting her face, and eating porcelain. Doesn't seem oh to care God. much about anything besides her appearance. Why is someone having a we seizure in the background? Out what her backstory is. <laughs> Pythia? Pythia. Wait, hold on. There's a guy having a seizure right there. Oh, professor. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Stop it. Ah, Klaus. Chen. Are we interrupting? Not at all. I was just on my way out. Another time, Pythia. Another time. Such a tease. So, boys, how can I help you? The fact. Klaus brought forth the arm of the porcelain doll that had been shot off earlier. What can you tell us about this? The doll that this belonged to is being very tight-lipped. Bring it near. Let's see, shall we? They appear to be in an attic. It must have been close to sunset as the rays of sunlight peeked through the vaulted window. Boxes and sheets covered most of the room. A little God girl damn it. sat on the floor Stop playing with a few dolls. The door here. slammed somewhere downstairs. The girl looked up from her dolls, a nervous expression on her face. From downstairs, the voices of a man and woman arguing drifted up to the attic. The, the, voices the child was with the mother. To screaming and yelling. The attic door flew open as a man climbed into the room. Behind him quickly followed a woman. She tried to restrain him, and that's when the little girl saw it. The woman had a gun in her hand. The little girl got to her feet and ran towards them, all three now struggling with the gun. Two gunshots rang out, then silence. A moment later, another gunshot. The two what bodies the laid silently on the floor. The little girl sat beside them, the gun in her hand. Part of her head missing where the bullet had gone through. That poor child, witnessing her parents kill each other, would be enough for anyone to... Alright, let's go back here for a moment. Oh, look! Look who's with the mother and the father! They were there the entire time! And they were not in a goddamn attic! They are in a room! And it shows no so signs of the... Of, of the girl doing 706 having the gun oh my god <laughs> my head pull the trigger on themselves it explains why she doesn't talk such trauma thank you Pythia <laughs> you're welcome and Dr. Claus please take care of her she's fragile like porcelain <laughs> let me take the lead on this one doc you want to talk to her why She's had a rough childhood, but more than that, it looks like she's been on the streets since the death of her parents. She's been living rough, doing anything to survive. I know what that's like. What? I tend to forget that, Shen. The fa- You lead. I'll follow. The Foundation found her immediately after police got her. She didn't live on the street. Where are they getting this information? As Klaus came into the room, he saw Chen and the porcelain woman sitting together, talking. What? Who authorized this? What's he doing inside her cell? Sir, Agent Chen insisted. She's really starting to open up to him. She doesn't appear dangerous. 
Cloth looked back through the one-way glass. He nodded. Chen knew what he was doing. So you see, you and I aren't that different. My what time the on the fuck streets is happening? helped make me into the man the I am today. Bright. But if there no, wasn't anyone story. to help me, guide me, things could have turned out much worse. I'm starting to understand now. You did what you had to, to survive. Exactly. You don't have to be scared. She leaned towards <laughs> Chen. With the kid you on the street. and me are the same? Yes, we are. Yes. Yes, I see it now. You aren't one of them. You dress like them. The men with the guns. But you're not one of them. Well, I, I mean... You're like me. The same. What the Very fuck? Same. Right, but... Tell me, James. How did you do it? How did I do what? Did you do it like me? Did you enjoy it like me? Chen looked at her with a blank expression. I... It was so easy. Mommy and Daddy, they never really loved me. They wanted a boy, but they got me instead. The father wanted a boy. Not the mother loved the child. See? See? The mother was trying to protect the chap. They're adding. Jeez, what was this? Not only that, but they're adding more abuse. Where there wasn't more abuse. I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't as pretty or precious like mommy's dolls. I tried and tried until I started to become one of mommy's little dolls. And even then, it wasn't enough. Then, one night, Daddy came home drunk. Again. But Mommy was so scared. She had his gun. But Mommy was weak. So weak. I knew she wouldn't be able to do it. So I did it. Why? And I got so mad. She couldn't even kill him to defend me. She was weak. Not like you and me, James. So I took care of her. Two shots. What? Both of them. Gone. Then one final shot. So when they came for me, it'd look like an accident. Or suicide. I am porcelain after all. I might break easily, but I'm stronger than I look. What the fuck? SCP-706 is an adolescent European-American female identified as 12 years of age according to local records at time of initial containment. Okay, so now they draw her correctly. Records also indicate that SCP-706 had been homeschooled throughout its life and that neighbors rarely saw SCP-706 outdoors. Really SCP-706 is physiologically yeah, normal it makes with no the exception sense. of an abnormally high resting body temperature of approximately 38.5 degrees Celsius and that its entire epidermis is composed of porcelain with the exception of small areas around okay, its joints. That's correct. This layer is extremely oh, fragile it. due to its thickness it and can crack or break when subjected to impacts or even with excessive movement, a process that is reportedly extremely painful. SCP-706 is capable of regenerating this skin layer at a rate consistent with normal skin growth when provided with and allowed to consume appropriate raw materials. Unfinished materials such as porcelain are acceptable and preferred. SCP-706 has no particular resistance to tissue damage resulting from the ingestion of hardened porcelain. Unless otherwise directed, SCP-706 will compulsively maintain its appearance typically involved in looking at itself in mirrors and using any available makeup or paint to apply, remove, or adjust its features. That's true, but why are you making it look even worse? Every scene, she's getting more and more sadistic, like, what the fuck? ...with which to maintain its materials or have denied the ability to inspect its own appearance. SCP-706 was removed from Texas following a police report involving a violent domestic dispute at a suburban residence. That's right. SCP-706 was discovered... They just immediately said after the incident happened. When earlier, they found them in a warehouse. Oh my god. This is hurt. This hurts. Red rum on the mirror. Oh, I didn't even know it was red rum on the mirror. God damn it. Oh my god. Why? In the back room are the residents, surrounded by a large pile of destroyed remains from several dozen porcelain dolls and multiple sets of fine china dinnerware, with most of the porcelain mass having been consumed. Class A amnestics were administered to responding law enforcement personnel and a cover story given to local media. 
SCP-706 is oh, to be housed heck? in a humanoid containment cell at humanoid containment site 06-3, which has been modified with padded walls and minimal sharp edges. SCP-706 yes, is to be provided with 1.2 kilos of kaolin and ceramic glaze daily in addition to its regular diet. Handling personnel are allowed to provide SCP-706 with non-standard items such as vanity mirrors, extra clothing as outlined in document 706-E, and a paintbrush set with ceramic enamel paint as an incentive or reward for good behavior. SCP-706 is currently contained under suicide watch procedures and is to be that restrained at all times except when undergoing testing. SCP-706 is to be given daily therapy sessions until further notice. A child's mental health is a vulnerable and gentle thing. Why are you making them look like an adult when they're 12 years old? Like a porcelain doll. As always, have a... God. Okay. Let's see. Removal of character slash license. Oh yeah, Booker, I'm not sure if you were here. But okay. Okay, you see how it says... Um, by... And Lana and Neko Chris? You see that? Just waiting for a for book when there's by. Oh my god, I'm seeing more of their thumbnails about doing this. So I guess he made her sick because she was su suicidal, but I mean, sleep isn't really there. Yep. Yep. Alright. So go down here, and where the fuck's Neko Chris? <laughs> they put. A different Creative Commons license than what's on the website. All you have to do is copy and paste. That's all you have to do. So they destroyed the license. Removal of characters. They did remove a character. Wait, that's wrong. Anomaly. God damn it, I did that twice. They removed the interviewer doctor. Because there was a doctor that interviewed 706 that described them being really depressed and wanting to go home. Oh yeah, they also got rid of this entire segment right here. About how depressing it is. Ruin this segment about what happened to the parents. So can we go agree with the removals of character slash license being a four? Please a doctor with this agent character. Yeah, completely got rid of them. Can we agree this is a four? <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> but we don't have even we don't even have to discuss this. Chat, we don't have to discuss this. Added gore or violence? Do we really have to discuss this? Do we really have to? <laughs> no, no discussion. <laughs> we got another four. Deviates from the plot of the article. <sighs> Sistic, Sistic tall killer says no. So, they completely ruined what happened with the parents. And the whole interview wasn't really there. Like the depressing interview. Oh, yeah, they didn't even mention it, that she intentionally started breaking up pieces of her own skin and stuff, I think. So. 
like to, to off herself. So. So they did take a chunk. They did keep everything in here, pretty much. Yeah, and they also read this, which is crossed out, which means it's no longer true, uh, no longer done anymore. What's that? It's updated. 21st of October, 2022. And this was made February 14, 2022. Okay, so it's probably still there in the video time. So we'll put exemption toward that. I... I can't tell if it's a three or a four with deviates from the plot of the article. Because there was chunks taken out. But there was also a chunk not taken out. I'm not sure. A three or a four. It's definitely not a two or a one. Hmm. Yeah, she isn't a statistic girl. She just has a bad body this morphia and self-esteem issues. Maybe also an eating disorder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, does that mean... Wait, does that mean they were being ableist by making it seem like because of what she is, she's sadistic? If you think about it. I didn't connect the dots at that point. I didn't think about that. Anyway, yeah. Oh my god. I'll say three because they did at least keep some of the stuff in the article correct and keep going the way it's supposed to be read. Only men in the video slash offensiveness. They were out of having mental breakdown equals be violent and hurt people. So. Which is just a bad stereotype. Yeah. So we got ableism. And sexualizing a minor. In this video. Can we be safe to say it's a floor for offensiveness? <laughs> four, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a five. <laughs> we don't have fives, but yeah, so that's five percent. Oh. <sighs> And what's sad is this is a short article. It's not hard to do. Just break the whole scale. <laughs> All right. All right. So I can move myself back now since the clickbait YouTube title is gonna be gone. <laughs> 